what to play next? Huh? How about this crud? Yeah! Huh? Hmm, what's this? Hmm? Oh, okay. Okay, pop that in. In. Here we go. Hello and welcome to The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Zelda is one of my all-time favorite game series, and The Minish Cap is one of my favorite Zelda games. I feel like it's a game that often gets overlooked, but it is such a cool game. There's so much cool things to do, so many things to collect. So, let's go ahead and press start and get this one going. We have to choose a file. Of course, I'm going to choose file number three right here. And for this game, I'm going to just go ahead and name my character Link. Normally, I would name my character Psycho if they're a boy or Wahei if they're a girl, but for Zelda, it just feels kind of wrong to name them anything except for Link. So, I'm just going to go ahead and go with that. Of course, the game has to save now, but that, that's okay. So we'll go ahead and press R to open some options. I just want to change the message speed to fast real quick, because it's kind of slow by default. And we oddly have the option to adjust brightness as well. I think this is because on the actual Game Boy Advance screen, it's pretty dark, so you can put it on bright for that. But I think for the recording here, normal's going to be just fine, so I'll go with normal. We have our little dude, we have our three hearts, so let's go ahead and start. A long, long time ago. When the world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow. The tiny Picori appeared from the sky, bringing the hero of men a sword and a golden light. With wisdom and courage, the hero drove out the darkness. When peace had been restored, the people enshrined that blade with care. Man, I absolutely love that intro music. And I love this music too, so I'm going to let you guys listen to it. This game has some amazing music, even though it does have the good old Game Boy Advance crust. If you hear any of that static, that's just part of the Game Boy. It's part of the charm. But here we go. Good morning, Master Smith. Huh? Oh, goodness me, Princess Zelda. Did you sneak out of the castle and come all this way alone? The minister is sure to be worried about you. You know how he gets. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Where's Link? The whole town is bustling for the annual Picori Festival. I thought he and I might go together. Would you mind terribly? Hmm, oh, is that what you're here for? Well, Link was up late helping me last night, and he's still asleep, but I do have an errand at the castle. Mm, yes, that should be fine. Link, time to get up! Oh, jeez. Well, here we are in our bed. As long as we can front flip out of bed, I think it's going to be a great time. Link, time to get up. Okay, so we can just lay here for as long as we want. Or we could get up, I guess we'll do that. And front flip out of bed, heck yeah, dude. So here's our guy. All we can do right now is move around or we can press R to roll, which I will probably be doing about a thousand times during this series. So get used to hearing rolling sounds, but all right. So what we have to do now is go and see Princess Zelda, see the Smith. We can't actually go out the front door right now. Oh, well. So let's go in. Hey, buddy. So I heard you want to go on a hot date with me, huh? Hey, Link. Princess Zelda's here. <laughs> I can see I have eyes. She'd like to know if you join her at the festival. Uh, yeah, Link. Come on, let's go check out the festival together. Master Smith already gave... Crap! Master Smith already gave me permission to take you. And yes, after all, the festival only comes once a year. Go on, have fun. And while you're there, you can do me a favor. I just finished making this sword for the minister at Hyrule Castle. I'd like you to deliver it to him. Okay, Grandpa. You accepted the Smith's sword. Make sure you don't lose this extremely important delivery. Oh, but losing things is my special ability. 
This is the blade that will be presented to the winner of the competition. Don't lose it. And while the two of you may be childhood friends, remember, Zelda is the princess of Hyrule. You watch over her. Don't let anything bad happen to her. <laughs> Something bad happening to a princess in a Nintendo game? Come on, dude. Master Smith, quit worrying. We'll be perfectly safe. Come on, Link. Let's go check out the festival. I would go do that. But uh, there's a couple pots in here I kind of need to smash. So let me do that first. Let's see if we get any goodies. Yes, we got one rupee. It's green. And don't spend it all in one place. Okay, I'll spend half of one rupee. Nothing in that. And we might as well go and loot our granddad's uh, money right here as well. Get 20 more rupees. So at the bottom right, you can see we are up to 21. Looking pretty good so far. So let's go outside. Link over here. Um, I could go follow Princess Zelda or I could break nature. So we do have a chance to get some rupees from these as well. Looks like I'm not going to be lucky. There's a whole bunch more nature down here, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to be super cool and jump right off that ledge. There's one little glitch I want to show you guys, though. If we pick up a little piece of grass or a piece of nature, and then we walk up to where Zelda is, you can see part of our feet kind of vanish for some reason. I don't I don't know why that happens. It's a very minor glitch, but I don't know. It's the thing that exists, so there you go. Oh, my feet, they're completely gone. <laughs> oh, well. So we'll just keep following her up here. Well, here we are, the town of Hyrule. So we have to go inside there, Hyrule Town. And to the side, we have Castor Wilds and Minish Woods, but the problem is we have advanced level nature. We're not strong enough to deal with this nature yet. So we're blocked off on that side, and we're blocked off on this side. So all we can do right now is go up to Hyrule Town. So let's go! Uh, Pr Princess Zelda, I don't mean to alarm you, but that guy had like six bananas. I want that crud, dude. Here we are, Link. Doesn't it look fun? Come on, let's look around. Okay. Well, Hyrule Town is a place that throughout the game we are going to be spending a lot of time. But right now, it's pretty much closed off. We can only go down this straight path. We can't go to any of these side areas. So, let's just go where we can. Welcome to the Picori Festival. They say that every hundred years the Picori come to Hyrule. And this is the 100th year to the day since the last time the Picori were here. Oh, that sounds fancy. Hey, buddy. Whew. Preparing for the festival left me absolutely exhausted. Still, I'm just enjoying watching people have fun. Okay, how about you? Are you enjoying yourself, Link? How do you know my name? This is the biggest festival in Hyrule. Well, I know your name too. This character's name is June. If you don't stop to enjoy it, you'll miss out on all the fun. Okay. Link, there's a storyteller here. We should stop and listen to it. Ooh, I wonder what's over there. Uh, uh, Zelda, uh, I want to listen to the story. Long, long ago, and then even longer before that, evil creatures appeared in the world of humans. They were powerful, frightening beasts, and they created such trouble. But then, the Picori came from the sky, bringing humans powerful magic. With the magic light force and the Picori blade, the beasts were repelled, and the world of humans once more knew peace, thanks to the Picori. So, as to not forget our gratitude, we hold this festival each year. Now remember, little ones, the Picori only appear before good little children. If you only do bad deeds, you will never get to see them, so be good. Do you think I'll really see the Picori if I'm on my best behavior all the time? I don't know, kid. I don't know if they're actually real. This might just be a fairy tale, dude. I don't believe in the Picori. I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> I'm too old to believe in any stupid old fairy tales. Okay. You're just so mature, dude. Even though you're like three pixels tall. Well, their head's like 50 pixels, but their actual body's like three or four. They say the Picori brings happiness to all the humans they meet. I wonder when they will bring happiness to me. Well, that's just sad. Let's go talk to this old lady. Each year, there is a sword fighting tournament at the Picori Festival. This year's tournament is already over. I couldn't believe how fast it went. I hear the victor was a mysterious man dressed entirely in black. Well, that is pretty spooky. I'm just on my way back from seeing the tournament at Hyrule Castle. Let me tell you, watching all those sword fights made me hungry. Ooh, speaking of hungry, we got some bananas right here. Actually, is that six? It's, that's definitely six bananas. Oh, hi, are you enjoying the festival? It's so much fun. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> he just sounds so sarcastic. And my fresh fruits are just delicious. Buy some. I'm not going to buy any fruits. Come on up, come one, come all. Gather around and have a look-see. I'm having a huge sale on all manners of delicious and festive vegetables, like carrots and cabbage. Festival. This is my first ever Picori festival. So where are all the Picori anyways? Uh, I don't know. Day and night, he's going on and on about Picori this and Picori that. Doesn't he know they're nothing but a silly fairy tale to make kids behave? That's what I think. That's gotta be the case. 
So the Picori are real. My father always told me they were. Ooh, look at that. Okay, she's getting sidetracked again. Good old Princess Zelda. Only once every hundred years does the mystic doorway open. This is the door that links the human world to the world of the Picori. When this door opens, the Picori can enter our world, and guess what? This marks the hundredth year since they last appeared here. I'm sure something wonderful is going to happen at this festival. Yeah, definitely wonderful. Hey, guy, have you ever seen the Picori? I saw one just the other day. Okay, kid. It wore a red cone-shaped hat, and it was really small. And it was standing inside my dad's shoe. I really saw it, I swear. I don't know if I believe that, kid. I've never seen the Picori before. Okay, at, le at least she's honest. Say, wasn't there going to be a sword fighting tournament at the castle? I wonder who won this year. Oh, wow, over here. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, I'll just keep talking to people. You go get sidetracked, Princess Zelda. You're the boy from Old Master Smith's place, right? I'm sure you know this, but he's the best swordsmith Hyrule's ever seen. Every year I enter the tournament trying to win that sword of his. I haven't won yet, and maybe I never will, but the tournament was awesome. The winner this year was a new face. I've been wondering where he's from. He used some incredible techniques and won the whole tournament in record time. Okay, that's cool. I love festivals. It's like seeing your town transform into another world. It really gives you a chance to think about how well we have it here. All right, so with all that, all that talking to these different characters out of the way, let's go talk to Princess Zelda one more time and see what we got here. We have a winner. Oh, me? Oh my, Princess Zelda, you won the grand prize in our drawing. Wow. You get your choice of any of these wonderful prizes. What will it be? First, we have this lovely heart-shaped stone. Next, we have this magnificent gem that is a large red rupee worth 200 rupees. And finally, there's this teeny tiny shield. So, which one would you like? Let me guess, the jewel? Oh, but this heart stone is very cute too. Choose whichever one you like. Uh, the shield is so adorable, I think I'll take it. Uh, th um, Princess Zelda, you can buy a shield at the shop. This 200 rupees can buy multiple shields. Just just get the 200 rupees. Why, why, why would you want that ugly thing? What about the heart stone? It's cute. Or, or this giant gem, it's pretty. Honestly, they're both much nicer than that nasty little shield thing. Nope, I want the shield. Can I have it? Uh, what a strange princess you are. Well, okay, here's your teeny tiny shield. And she talks to me. Do I get to have it? Here, I want to give you a present. Doesn't this shield suit you perfectly, Link? Are you calling me small? Princess Zelda gave you a small shield. It suits me perfectly. Hold the button to protect yourself. It is a little embarrassing, though. It's so tiny. Oh, great. Thanks a lot, Princess Zelda. Well, at least we can defend ourselves. We can block out the haters. Yep, just as I thought. You look great. Now, if anything happens, you can protect me with that shield. Oh, I almost forgot. We have to take Master Smith's sword to the castle. Let's go, Link. Or we can do the ultimate technique. If we moonwalk, we can use Princess Zelda as a shield. <laughs> yeah. So now the kids are out of the way. We can progress to the north here. There they are. Oh, we got the best character in the entire game. We got Snot Kid. So, so, so. I've been good all year, like all year long. And you know how the Picori only show themselves if you've been good. And so, 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 I'm just waiting for the Picori to come and play with me. I'm sure they'll come play with you, Snot Kid. Don't you worry. My sister and I came a long way to see the Picori Festival this year. Is it true the festival is named after tiny people the size of my thumb? I want to see what they look like. Do you know where I can get to see them? Or go to see them? <laughs> Close enough. People from all over the place come to Hyrule Town for the Picori Festival. Hooray! And we have one more character to talk to, and we are done with this trip to Hyrule Town. I've been dispatched from Hyrule Castle up north to watch over the festivities. Okay. So, if we keep going north, we will get to Hyrule Castle. So, up we go. Now, once we go up here, come on, Link, let's hurry to the castle. We are once again going to be blocked by nature. We could go over this way, where we got some water. We could jump in. It's not going to hurt us, but we can't go that way. We got nature we could kill. <laughs> Nothing too fancy. If we go over this way instead, once again, not a whole lot, and we're going to be blocked off by nature. So, the game at the start kind of funnels you down a very linear path, but eventually it will open up. So, for now, let's just continue north to the castle. Uh-oh. Oh, not haters. Oh, crud. Ouch. That must be the business scrub I heard the soldiers talking about. They were saying a Deku scrub had been hassling all the passerbys. Link, do something about it. Otherwise, we can't get to the castle. If only we had some way to defend ourselves against those nuts of his. And nuts can be pretty violent. And unfortunately, Princess Zelda is standing in place, so we can't use her as a shield like we were planning to. Oh, well. Instead, we're just going to have to use our shield normally. 
and smack his nuts back in his face. There we go, we did it! Please forgive me, sir. I heard there was a festival, and I came to town hoping to hawk my wares. Unfortunately, we scrubs have a tendency to spit nuts when we speak. Everyone got scared and ran away, and no one would buy anything. This is a terrible place to do business. I'm going back to my cave. Okay, I actually feel a little sorry for that business scrub, but that nut hurt! Oh well, he won't be hassling anyone now. We'd better hurry to the castle. Okay, so we can get to you up, and once again, we have a bit of a split path. We could go this way, but there's a rock in the way. The sign will even point us out that that's the Royal Valley, but uh, we can't go there. And over on this side, we are once again going to be blocked by, well, nature down here, but up here we're going to be blocked by more rocks, so I guess rocks are kind of nature as well. So still, once again, blocked by nature. Into the castle we go. Hey, Mr. Guard. Welcome to Hyrule Castle. Thanks, buddy. Ah, Princess Zelda... When did you leave the castle? Yeah, I guess they're not doing a very good job of keeping her prisoner. Ah, the sword for the award ceremony. You should take that to Minister Potho. You'll find him in front of the castle. Okay, so we'll go take it to him. He's right there. I'll talk to one more guy. Preparations for the award ceremony are coming along nicely. So once again, there are some side areas here, but they're blocked off. We have to go down a very linear path at the start. Oh, well. Oh, Link, you brought the sword, did you? Then, as minister to the kingdom of Hyrule, I, Potho, accept this blade. It came just in time. The award ceremony will begin soon. <laughs> Hooray! I'm sorry, Link, but I'd better go. I have to prepare for the ceremony. I had a good time at the festival. Thanks for coming with me. Kind of a weak date, dude. We didn't even hold hands or anything. Uh, since you're here, Link, why don't you join us for the award ceremony? Okay, Mr. Potho. Do you know about that sword, Link? It is called the Picori Blade, and it locks much evil away in that chest. The Picori Blade is sacred among the people of Hyrule. The legend has it that long ago, the Picori gave us this blade. Whoever wins the competition earns the honor of touching the sacred blade. You can't have it, but you can give it a little poke, dude. I don't want no stinking Picori Blade. Maybe if it was like a Hikori smoked bacon blade, or maybe a Bay Blade, I'd take it, but not a Picori Blade, and that's fine. Uh, let the award ceremony commence. Yeah, we got Mr. King here. Body, champion of the competition. You may approach the blade. You can't have it. You can just give it a little poke, dude. There's the guy, I guess, that is supposedly dressed entirely in black, although it looks kind of more like a navy blue and a lavender to me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. Heh <laughs> To think things would go this well. The Picoy blade and the bound chest spoken of in Hylian lore. This chest must hold that which I seek. I'll relieve you of its contents now. Uh oh, he's gonna take the blade. He's gonna do more than touch it. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> do not interfere with me. As victor, I've earned the right to approach the Picori blade. I've been waiting for this moment. you why are you doing this the princess with the mystic aura the power that was gifted to the people of hyrule still flows within the veins of the ladies of its royal family interesting if i leave you now you'll only cause me trouble later that will never do to stone with you it's okay i'll block you with my tiny shield oh it didn't work okay Oh, nuts! I hate it when that happens. She turned to stone. <laughs> All who stand in my way shall share this fate. Now, to find out what power awaits me in this chest. Huh? Empty? There was nothing in there but a rabble of monsters? What is the meaning of this? Well, I know the force I'm after is somewhere out there. I'm in no hurry. I can take my time searching for it. <laughs> well, great. So we unleashed monsters on the world for no particular reason. Darn it, dude. What a butthead. I'm gonna take a nap to think about this. It's okay, I'm gonna press a button here. We could stay in there as long as we want, but I'll press a button to get up here. And we'll go talk to this lady. Oh, thank goodness you've awakened. Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see His Majesty the King. Oh, uh, this can't be good. I mean, Zelda always told me she wanted to have rock-hard abs, but I don't think this is what she meant. Oh, Link, you're awake. Are you feeling all right? Stand at my side. The King of Hyrule is about to speak. It is as you have all heard. A sorcerer named Body has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. 
If we had the sacred Picori blade, we likely could have broken the curse, but Vadi shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do you know about the Picori? Um, the Picori, not much beyond what the fairy tales say. They're supposed to be very tiny, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, the ones from the fairy tales, but the Picori are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about them. The Picori, who forged the sacred blade, live deep within Minish Woods. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. <laughs> what? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once! No, soldiers will not do. The Vicori do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers could search for days and still find no sign of them. Hmm? I see. If that's the case, then why not send Link? If Link is recovered, then yes, I would like to ask this of him. Please, turn my precious Zelda back to normal. Uh, I don't know, dude. It's kind of an upgrade. I think this is a better version of Zelda. But I guess if it's important, I'll, I'll do it. The Picori should know how to create a new sacred sword. It will be a dangerous journey, now that those monsters have been freed. Please, take this sword with you, along with the broken Picori blade. Hooray! You accepted the broken Picori blade! This is part of the sword needed to reforge the sacred sword. Don't lose it. Ow! Oh, but losing things is my special ability! Oh well. Oh! You got the smith sword! It's a sharp blade made by your grandfather. Hooray! Very well then, send the soldiers to search for body at once! And, uh, off they go. Deep within the Minish Woods, you will find a place called Deepwood Shrine. Once humans and Picori shared that shrine as a meeting place, I think it would be best if you started your search there. Oh, Grandpa, why don't you come with me, dude? Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way into the forest, simply check your map. Just press start and press the L and then R. Grandpa, you're talking funny again. You're talking about letters. I've marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck and be careful. You got a map of Hyrule. Now you'll never get lost. <laughs> yeah, I'll never get lost. Don't you worry, guys. So here we have the map. There's a few places we've already been to, which are uncovered. And also, with the check mark, there is Minish Woods. I am counting on you, Link. Don't count on me, dude. I am not an abacus. Only you can break Vadi's curse and free Princess Zelda. Well, that sounds like a tall order for a kid. Even turned to stone by Vadi's curse, her eyes are filled with life. Hurry. Save her. You know, I would save her, but we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We've kind of found ourselves in a bit of a juicy pickle, but in the next episode, we'll start our monster-filled adventure towards saving Princess Zelda. I'll see you all then. Take care.